Grab your scuba gear, folks, because we're going to dive extra deep on this very rare and infamous Audi RS4. What's so special about this car, you ask? Well, I wouldn't be lying if I said you are looking at the only Audi like it on the planet. That's because this Audi RS4 Avant started its life as an S4 Avant. The engine setup was swapped out with proper RS4 components and even the S4 automatic transmission was removed to make way for the 6-speed RS4 manual trans. But that's not all folks, this car is full of easter eggs. We go through all the specifics regarding the long list of imported European and custom crafted parts. Long story short, the only parts left on this car that doesn't consist of uber rare imported European parts are the front doors, roof, and trunk. That's why this build is one of a kind and you don't want to miss it. In this episode of Modern Greaser, you are looking at one of the most rare Audis you're ever going to lay your eyes on. That's because this is the only Audi RS4 wagon in the United States. The damn bird landed on my camera. Get off my camera, bird. <laughs> if you lived anywhere else in the world, you could order an RS4 wagon. But here in the United States, we got shorthanded. So what does any good American do when they can't get an RS4 wagon? Well, they build one, of course, and this is the one-off RS4. So simply stated, this car is one of one. So what else besides rarity and exclusivity makes this car what it is? What makes this car so great? What is an RS4, S4? How did S4, RS4, what's going on? Let me explain. The Audi S4 is the high performance variant of Audi's compact executive car, the A4. The S4 has a more powerful engine, larger brakes, better suspension, sheet metal work, and badges that separate it from the A4. The S4 is top of the line in markets where the even higher performance RS4 is not available. Here in the United States, you can purchase an S4 wagon, but not the RS4. The RS initials were taken from the German Rennsport, literally translated as racing sport. This car's full government name is Audi RS4 Avant. Avant meaning estate car station wagon. Like Porsche that has the 996, 997, etc. to separate the years of vehicles, Audi has the B9, B8, and B7, which encompasses the 2006 to 2008 model years. With this being the 2008, it can be called B7. So this German bred car started its life in Germany and was brought over here to the United States as an S4 wagon. So with a stroke of genius, this S4 wagon slowly turned into an RS4 Avant. There is a ton of work that has been done to this car so that nothing on it is from the S4. So why would somebody want to change an S4 over to an RS4? Well, here's a good reason. The S4 redlines at 6,500 RPMs. The RS4 red lines at 8250. Another reason you might want to switch over to the RS4 is because the internals on this engine are the same as the R8 Audi. Ooh, that's nice. And the number one reason somebody would want to switch over an S4 to the RS4 is because it's all in the hips, baby. Get your tape measures out, guys, because this baby thick. She a thick boy. Thick. It's, it's thick. This car is real thick. It's called the wide body. All in the hips. It's even got front hips. That's what I like about a car when she's got front hips and back hips, or he, whatever, whatever you're into. In order to get this car to its current level of greatness, there were a few changes, just a few, that had to be done. Let's start with the engine. The engine in this car was built from two torn down long blocks. An RS4 short block was checked for balance and rebuilt with new bearings and RS4 heads, headers, intake manifold, and valve covers. The engine had a custom ECU tune and remap as well as several other modifications. This new power plant required sophisticated fabrication work and a third RS4 style torque mount was welded into the engine bay. This car originally had an automatic transmission which was flushed down the toilet and the powerful 4.2 liter V8 is now properly mated to an imported RS4 six speed manual transmission. The manual transmission is also backed up by a limited slip differential, or what us muscle car guys call posi traction. Which brings us to our next topic, this color, Cambridge Green Metallic. This color is exclusive and can only be obtained from an executive program through Audi. Obviously, this color is not available on every Audi. Most Audis are silver, right? In fact, there's a car rental company called Silver Car by Audi. 
Let's compare this color to Steve McQueen's legendary bullet Mustang that recently sold for $3.4 million. See the similarity? The Stang was coated in Highland Green and it was damn near the same color. Did you wonder what that angelic sound was when this car was accelerating? Oh, you know, it's just the EV Works two and three quarter inch exhaust coming out of the back of this thing. It's the same exhaust that was on the 996 Turbo. You know, the one that sounded like a UFO was landing on your head. This thing sounds wicked cool in person. What about the details of this car? I think the coolest part of this car is that it is truly a family affair. Not only are there car seats in the back for the two kids, but this car has been deemed the owner's fourth child, the dog being the third. Now listen closely, car guys. If you can find a woman that can do the following things for your car, then you better put a ring on that finger. The owner's wife selected and sourced the work of motion wheels, but that's not all, folks. She contacted ECS to custom make the reflectors which match the smooth bronze color of the wheels. She also had custom made center caps crafted from lightweight aluminum, or since this car is all European, we should properly refer to these caps as aluminum to fit the work of motion wheels bearing the Audi RS insignia. She then fitted the imported European RS4 seats with custom badges and even found a chap in England who laser engraved custom RS4 door latch covers. You can't tell with the naked eye, but the interior carbon fiber of a stock S4 is thinner than the RS4. The owner replaced all the trim with two ply RS4 spec carbon fiber, which was then PPF'd and ceramic coated. So surprisingly, the battery had to be relocated to the back of this car. Also surprisingly, being a German vehicle, I'm shocked it wasn't back there already. A lot of Mercedes and BMW already have the batteries in the back, but like any good race car, battery in the back. And check this out. When you open the doors of this RS4, custom projectors light up the ground with the RS4 logo. How awesome is that? The ABS air scoops that hide the intercoolers were imported to match the correct European bumper and to maintain the complete RS4 aesthetics. The US spec amber headlights were also swapped out with the correct clear European setup. And get this, this car has a serialized Group M carbon fiber air intake. The oil cap and radiator cap are both R8 spec because, well, they look great and because race car. Proper RS4 bolstered seats were imported and fitted to this former S4. The seats are gyroscopic, which means you can exert g-force in a turn and the air bladders inflate, thus bolstering the sides and further keeping you in the proper driving position. One can't simply swap in RS4 seats. S4 seats have a 4-pin connector, so a proper RS4 6-pin connector was imported to retain the full functionality of the active wingback seats. Let's talk floor mats. These red Audi Sport floor mats are not only in mint condition, but they're super rare and worth every penny. So what is left of the S4 platform? Well, the front doors, the roof, and the trunk. Everything else is RS4. This RS4 is equipped with an Audi flat bottom steering wheel, a full trio short throw shifter, and this Black Forest Industries heavy weight shift knob. Here comes yet another Easter egg your way. The owner of this car was also able to locate this very rare Alcantara RS4 owner's manual folder. The owner tracked down a collector in Europe who had this very rare and exclusive RS4 Alcantara owner's manual folder. Most RS4 covers came in a black vinyl, which are rare enough on their own. But the Alcantara version were only given out to about 100 Audis. Since the owner's wife's name is Tara, I couldn't think of a better person to own this. A rear hatch carbon fiber wing from a newer Avant was also fitted to give this car an extra cool look. That's what's so great about this car and the owner. So much of it is precisely an RS4 where everything was imported to be true to the point, but he wasn't afraid to go out on a limb and add cool custom things to it. That's what's great about this car. If you compare the owner of this car to myself, from the knees down, we're basically indistinguishable. Even though he doesn't drive a dirty diesel swap C10 or an old muscle car, we're still the same person. 
We're both car nuts. And just when you think you like cars more than anyone else in the world, there's always somebody there who likes cars more than you. This video has only merely scratched the surface of how much time and effort has gone into this car. The greatest part about the time that has been spent on this car is the time that has been spent with the owner's family and his children who like to play the game 3, 2, 1, go, which involves the children counting down, followed by dad mashing the throttle. Not only is this car loved by the owner's family, it's kind of a big deal in the car world. In fact, this RS4 won the Chairman's Trophy at the Amelia Island Concourse Saturday Cars and Coffee. This award was chosen and presented to the owner by YouTube celebrity Sam Crack, Paul Jr. Designs, Richby Kid, and Alex Palmieri from Legit Street Cars. And I know I already talked about the color, but this car was so hard to film. It's like filming a moving mirror. I could not keep the camera car or my filming shenanigans out of the shot. I mean, just look at this clip. The car goes from black to green to purple and black again, I don't even know. And sometimes when the car feels like it, it just turns to chrome. It's like one of those color changing Hot Wheels that you dumped in water. I wonder if that's what happens when this thing gets wet. Man, I should have picked a day when it was raining. The hood on this thing is aluminum, like a soda can. Please go follow the owner Nish on Instagram at rs4wgn, where he has some really astounding and awesome pictures of this car. And follow his page closely because, spoiler alert, he might be working with Audi regarding some very big changes coming to the Audi community. So give him a follow and don't miss a lick of the action. So thank you for watching yet another episode of Modern Greaser. Make sure you hit that like button. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you hated this video, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Peace. I'm out. His, his car, this is like the coolest, rarest car. It's mind blowing. It's all in the hips.